you know, other brands that we talk to, other experts, you know, people marketing, things like that. So let's get to it, right? So we have our digital marketing agency, okay? Right? Brands, experts, marketing, okay? Now we, now a piece of that, right? So one of the services we offer is a podcast slot, right? To be a guest on our podcast. Cool. So here's the thing you have to remember, right? With most podcasts, right? And we're going to get to the marketing side of this. I just want to get you a little bit of understanding on what we're talking about, okay? Most podcasts that you see have guests, right? There's different guests that come onto the podcast, right? So since there's these guests that come onto the podcast, you have to ask yourself, like a lot of podcasts, you got to know them because of, of a specific guest. So there's a podcaster, Bobby. Um, her last name is leaving me right now, but she does a podcast, right? She had Drake on there. And that's like her biggest podcast episode. I believe she took it off. I don't really know the reason, but regardless, that's how I knew exactly who she was and got into looking at her episodes, episode with Tyga and all these other people, right? So her ability, and she was talking about this, like she wanted to pay for guests, like to get in contact with somebody or whatever else. And she got in contact uh, with different people. Uh, influencers, whoever she wanted to get in contact to, and it kind of led to where she's, you know, interviewing the Drakes and the Mark Cuban, owner of Dallas Mavericks, right? Uh, investor, shout out Mark Cuban, right? These kind of people that led to that, right? So, oh, a part of our marketing strategy is to have a budget, or really, let's 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 step back one st- one step, join a um, be a part of. Uh, at least one to three chambers of commerce, right? So if we can be a part of those, now we're in the environment where we get to meet experts, right? So we get to have these conversations. I can show them. I can, you know, produce a card. Say, hey, this is what we do. We'd love to have you on there as the owner of this brand you just opened or you're doing an anniversary or you're doing this kind of stuff. Come on, sit down with us, talk about what you're doing. And have a budget for that so let's say it's a hundred dollars or fifty dollars right so they're not you know they they have a reason to come All right, how am I experts doing? It's James Lee Love, Brands Experts Podcast, podcast where community support brands, market the expertise. All right. And this is a part of, right, what Brands Experts Podcast is a part of is Brands Experts Marketing, right? A complete digital marketing agency where community support brands market their brands okay so we're on today right we got our notes right take notes right one of the most powerful apps in your phone is your note section so many ideas go through that we're doing because we're doing so much different things right at the same time so you take advantage of your note section the notes as long as you save it properly things like that the note section won't forget, so you can execute on what you need to execute on. So, all right, so let's move forward. How your marketing budget will build brand income. That's what we're talking about today. All right, cool. So let's get on, on to that. How your marketing budget will build brand income, right? So listen, um, shout out to Markel, Markwell Russell, right? expert in the coaching area right uh business coaching all that kind of stuff so if you need that kind of stuff uh, please check out markel russell check him out on social media check him out on instagram youtube right uh the atlanta georgia area but uh travels around the world does his thing one of the best experts in the world when it comes to coaching and things like that okay but he says 
that every business is in like what business he had a question he said what business is every business in people say sales people say all this stuff and he said it was marketing right and so kind of jogged our mind thinking okay well, well, what did he mean by that well usually everything you do is a part of your marketing the way you dress logos on your shirt this is not one where we got one on but we have that right it's part of our you know it's part of our marketing right just, you know, everything you do should be tied into marketing in some kind of way, right? But how does that, like, how do you directly impact your income, right, your brand's income, the marketing? Well, that's, that's great. Like, a lot of people don't know how to do that, and it's a great asset and resource to know. So you know, like, if you're putting a dollar into something, specifically if we're using the dollar, for example, but a dollar is so low, you're probably not going to get anything done for that. But let's take it up another level. Let's say for every month, you're doing $1,000 in marketing through the year. That is $12,000, right? 12 months in every year, right? So we got that math good, right? Simple math. So if we want a 10x marketing strategy, right? So if we're going to take, you know, 12,000 times 10, I believe that that's 120,000. Let's get the calculator on that. 12 times 10 equals 120. So 2,000 times 10. Cool. So 120,000. Cool. So we want to 10x that, right? So how do we do that, right? I, what is, like, what's the mindset on how we do that for our marketing, things like that, right? So we're going to use it for an example, like, with us, right? We're, we like to speak on things that we're doing, right? We, You know, if we can, because I, I can talk about an ice cream shop, and I can, you know, and I've done, you know, people that have, have been a part of the podcast for, you know, a lengthy amount of time. No, I, I can make great examples, but I, I believe the best example is something that we're doing right because if you're doing it you, you speak from that perspective of that's the market you're in that's the environment that you're in so we want to speak from that perspective on things just works out better for us just as a company and just period so uh you know other brands that we talk to other experts you know people marketing things like that so let's get to it, right? So we have our digital marketing agency, okay? Right? Brands, experts, marketing, okay? Now we, now a piece of that, right? So one of the services we offer is a podcast slot, right? To be a guest on our podcast. Cool. So here's the thing you have to remember, right? With most podcasts, right? And we're going to get to the marketing side of this. I just want to get you a little bit of understanding on what we're talking about, okay? Most podcasts that you see have guests, right? There's different guests that come onto the podcast, right? So since there's these guests that come onto the podcast, you have to ask yourself, like a lot of podcasts, you got to know them because of, of a specific guest. So there's a podcaster, Bobby. Um, her last name is leaving me right now, but... She does a podcast, right? She had Drake on there. And that's like her biggest podcast episode. I believe she took it off. I don't really know the reason. But regardless, that's how I knew exactly who she was and got into looking at her episodes. Episode with Tyga and all these other people, right? So her ability, and she was talking about this. Like she wanted to pay for guests, like to get in contact with somebody or whatever else. And she got in contact uh, with different people. Uh, influencers, whoever she wanted to get in contact to, and it kind of led to where she's, you know, interviewing the Drakes and the Mark Cuban, owner of Dallas Mavericks, right? Uh, investor, shout out Mark Cuban, right? These kind of people that led to that, right? So, oh, a part of our marketing strategy is to have a budget, or really, let's 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 step back one st- one step, join a um, be a part of. Uh, at least one to three chambers of commerce, right? So if we can be a part of those, 
Now we're in the environment where we get to meet experts, right? So we get to have these conversations. I can show them. I can, you know, produce a card. Say, hey, this is what we do. We'd love to have you on there as the owner of this brand you just opened or you're doing an anniversary or you're doing this kind of stuff. Come on, sit down with us, talk about what you're doing and have a budget for that. So let's say it's $100 or $50, right? So they're not, you know, they, they have a reason to come right? Even though it's not much money, it, it may cover the gas, whatever the case is. So that's our strategy is put funding behind that to get the guests that we want to have and need to grow the podcast, right? And as these guest episodes start to get more interactions, get more views, more people start to know them because of that, we start to build an environment in a community inside of these people that we've had on here so they can interact with each other episodes with you know say it's real estate so we have you read different real estate investors come and now they're talking and bouncing ideas talk about projects they can do together all that kind of stuff but it all came because we had a marketing budget got to stay on track got to stay on track the marketing budget right so our marketing budget we set our monthly marketing budget that pulls in the guests so we invest into that pull in the number of guests that we need to have per month to get that good consistent tracking like right now we had to do some uh we've been traveling a lot like right now we're in beautiful anaheim california but we've been doing a lot of traveling so as far as for right now we're going to have to join we're most likely going to join the anaheim california chamber of commerce it's just going to make sense for us being here you know that we're out here and that will open the door for a lot of different things for us as a brand right so when we're here we have some time we'll be able to go to a lunch or a breakfast that kind of stuff and the fact that we'll be able to do that they'll open a lot of doors for us but that's part of the marketing budget and yeah so when you now that you set that marketing budget and now that you have more contacts a bigger community you paid for let's say 100 guests right and so now that the podcast is, you know, all this other stuff is going, now you can you could scale back and say, now we want to get one paid guest a month or three, whatever your number is. But that's what we, that's how we execute over here. So <clears throat> we execute like that. And what that turns into is that marketing budget of 10000 that went to guests, that went to different uh, venues that we, you know, film in. The cameras, mics, all that stuff, right? That's part of the marketing to get the podcast done. We wrote that over into the brand that these brands love and get to talk about the expertise and things that they're great at and how they make the communities better. Well, you know, we invest in that year, let's say by month six, that 6000 then we start charging a $1,000 a month, I mean, excuse me, per episode, give a full suite of exactly what that comes with. Because we did the investing, because, you know, we had that budget, now we have income, right? So all we need is six guests, right? And we can get that in one month. So what we did in 12 months, we can get that back in one month, right? You can do that with your business too, all right? There's no reason why you can't do that, why you can't take capital, you know, like money that you have and invest it into making income. It's it's just like that. That's how you do it. Like, that's how you want to do it. And so once you do that and once you get the ball rolling, like the ball's really out there rolling and everything, you're going to build up from there. Like things, then, you know, you, you can have your uh, your application process right there on your website you know, have them, you know, have you, your team look it over, guess you want to have, yes or no, send the invoice or send the button for them to purchase, however you guys have it set up, and or your deposit, however you guys have that set up, and then bam, everything happens right the way that you want it to happen. That's what you need. Bugs, big dragonfly, so the shadow, we see it, so we just want to be careful. We want to be careful out here. Um, yeah, so we just want you paying attention to that. We want you to be in a position to where you're always executing a good marketing budget.
to where you're always executing good marketing and bringing that income in. Because once you bring an income in, and just because you brought that income in does not mean that you you stop marketing, right? You always continue to market. Because always guess. Like, don't get to the point to where you're comfortable with the income that you're not continuing to invest into the marketing. Because there will always be guests that you don't have yet. Like, if you're, like with us, let's say, top, you know, we want to interview, we want to have on a podcast, EYL, right, Earn Your Leisure, and, you know, just people like that, right? Um, you know, LeBron James, right? Experts, Rich Paul, right? You know, what they're doing, right, with Clutch Sports and LeBron with Uninterrupted, see what he's doing with the merch, right? We want to talk to him about that kind of stuff. But what we need to do in the meantime, in the middle of this, and when we get there is in, invest into the marketing because that's a part of the marketing, right? We don't want to go in with, with you know, experts we barely know and say, hey, just come do this or just come do that. Like we want to, you know, build up the relationship so it all makes sense long term, things like that, right? So that's what we want to do. That's what we're going to do. We want you to execute a good strategy to bring in income. Because <clears throat> we know just how important it is to your brand. Like we talked about in a previous ep- episode, uh, if you don't have income, you know, your, your brand's probably not going to do too good. Things aren't going to work out for your brand if you don't have income. So we want your brand to have that income. So then you can do spend more time doing the things that you love and really being creative. You can hire, you can hire freelancers. You can use fiverr.com to do that. And you can start, you know, hiring in person for people to actually come you know, do this kind of stuff that I'm doing, like, because eventually we want to have a host. We want to have someone that I can meet with monthly, even if it's virtually meet on teams. Hey, what's the plan? What are we doing? Hey, we're doing this. We're doing that. Okay, cool. That's the plan. Well, let's, let's execute that plan. Let's, uh, let's get the job done. Let's, you know, figure out what we want to do and really execute on that and do a really good job at that. Like not be afraid to push the envelope, let someone else do this because you have to remember something. If you're not hiring someone to do the job for you, you're going to be spreading yourself thin because you're going to be doing the marketing. You're going to do the film work. You're going to be, you know, coordinating travel. You're going to be doing payroll, right? You want to hire experts to take care of all these pieces. So then you can have really have an off day where it's really an off day. You're not looking at your work phone. You're not putting out fires. You're not calling people. You're not coordinating meetings. You're not doing any of this. You're having who you hire, take care of all these processes for you. So you can really focus on the things you love, the creative side of the brand, right? Push that and really get to the areas of accomplishments that you deserve to get to with your brand. Cause you deserve to be at areas of accomplishment. You deserve to be at areas of travel. You deserve to do all these incredible things and having that income from marketing will get you there. But if you don't put the income first, it can be inconsistent. You can have a month where you make 500, you a month where you spend 500. You can have a month where you spend 1200. You have a month where you make 400. It's going to be up and down, up and down. You lay the foundation. If you look at this basketball court, right, the foundation was laid. Then the courts. Now they can use this forever. <sighs> Setting a budget and at a minimum $1,000 a month into marketing that is how you do that, right? So in other businesses, it's done a little bit differently. So I don't want to get exactly how it's done per business. But let me just give you a general example on how it's done just because everybody's not running a podcast and that's cool. What you'll do is you take what you do. You take your core offer that you've been getting sales with that you know um, your specific target audience is into. You'll craft and add Right, and there's a HubSpot video that's perfect for this. We want to tag it in the video so you'll just see the HubSpot video. I'll show you exactly how to do this. You'll set up a Facebook ad with your budgeting for your demographic. Now, remember, I mean, before your target audience. Now, remember, when you're setting this ad up, this is one of the most important pieces in setting ads. <clears throat> what you want to do when you're setting your ad is set it for no larger than a 50 miles radius. If you can get it to 30, if you're in like a big city, like a Los Angeles, like a Phoenix, Arizona, like a Dallas, Texas, like a Miami, Florida, like a New York, New York, you can even do a 15 or 20. You want people, your target audience to see this two, three times a day. You don't want it to be one person sees it and then they keep driving because they say that there's seven to 12 interactions before purchase is made. So you want to get 
as many of those interactions as possible. So you set that budget, right? And let's say you set it at $10 a day. So you're only doing $70 a week. So you're under the threshold that I talk about. But what you're getting is interested clients, right? Potential clients that see what you're doing, that are hitting up your website, going to your landing pages, filling out your forms, Right. That is how you do for whatever you offer. It doesn't matter if it's cookies. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, something with the stock market. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, filming birthdays, whatever it is. That's what you need to do. You, you set it all up. And yes, you know, the help spot video will help you, the experts with that. But yes, you will have to set a budget. Right. Like you will have to set a budget. And yes, you have to make a Facebook page, like for your business. Is you can't run it off your personal page. Let me tell you again, you can't run it off your personal page. Let me tell you again, you can't run it off your personal Facebook. You have to set up a business Facebook page, run it off of there, do that, run that for at least a month, get the data, get the phone calls, know what's going on, follow that HubSpot video to a T because it'll show you exactly how to set it up. And then from there, you have your data, and then you'll be able to at least get some phone calls. If even better, you'll get some clients coming in, paying you, things like that. And it's only up from there. So that's what we want for you. We want you to have income. We don't want you to be slipping and falling with what you're doing. We don't want you to, if you lose your job, to be sitting there in a the corner crying because people lose their jobs every day. And there's nothing wrong with having a job because a job is an amazing thing because like you're going to have to hire as well. So you're just in that position to where you're going to have to pick people up to where you need to be picked up or whatever, or, you know utilize your skills, things like that. But you have to remember that having a job is fine. There's nothing wrong at all with having a job. But just remember that you can still use your free time, use your Saturdays, use your Sundays, use your time after work to build something yourself. So when it's time to retire or you get in a physical injury or, you know, you, you want to travel the world or you, you want to change your life in a different way. and You don't want to do something different. You've actually built something that you thought about, love, loved, and actually put some finances and marketing behind it. And it can work. And we want it to work for you in, in a, you know, a very big way. And, you know, this is the way that you can make some income for your marketing. Specifically, let me go back to it, how your marketing budget will build brand income, right? That's. Ultimately, if you could build brand income, like that's the place that everybody wants to get to where the brand is have income. Like even a nonprofit needs income because they have to pay. Like even if they're not making a profit, they still have to pay their employees, their CEOs. There's a lot of stuff that has to happen with income, but it has to happen. And we want to make sure that you have all the resources to have that happen. And yeah, all right, we're going to execute the strategy we talk about. We're going to have episodes where we actually sit down and show you some of the things that we're doing. Um, some of the unique stuff that makes us unique as a brand. And yeah, just that's ultimately what we're doing as a brand specifically. So we'd like to thank you for checking out this episode of the Brands Experts podcast. Right. Uh, thank you for looking at all of the um, stuff that we're doing with Brands Experts Foundation. Right. It's a foundation where we help right under representing underserved communities, right, and veteran-focused communities, partner with expert-level brands. I mean, excuse me. Veteran-focused brands and underserved brands partner with expert-level brands for rapid economic growth, right? So we like to thank you for checking out all the stuff we're doing with the foundation and the parent company to the podcast, Brands Experts Marketing, a digital marketing agency where we help community support brands, right? Market the expertise, okay? And really, like, do everything when it comes to digital marketing, right? Really focus on that digital marketing, everything, everything set up for digital marketing. So that's who we are. That's what we do. This is this episode of Brands Experts Podcast. We're, you know, rolling through around episode 40, right? You know, we've accomplished a lot of diff different things that we said we're going to do in 2023. Um, and we're going to keep that, that goal set that we get to all of them. Like, don't set, sell yourself short. Don't think that you're not going to do something. Like, set a time and knock it out. Like, don't be afraid. Get in there, knock it out, make it happen. Stay focused, stay dedicated, stay ready, and things will happen for you. And 
things will go great for you. Don't ever think anything different. Believe, 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 and it will happen. All right? Remember that. Okay. James Elite Love, Brands Experts Podcast, signing off. To the next one. Let's go. For checking out this episode of the Brands Experts Podcast. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out all our socials like Instagram. Make sure you check out our website. And make sure you check up check out our VIP, Brands Experts Podcast.com. Exclusive VIP stuff, interviews, exactly how to make money, exactly how to partner with great brands. We just things you need to know, right? For you know, you gotta remember if you wanna get to where you need to go. You need to pay for that, right? That's how you paying for that value that you need. So make sure you go over there, check that out. And yeah, we're here for you. Brand Experts Podcast. Let's go.